Translators who use CAD tools are often faced with the following situation. Here I'm in PowerPoint and the legend upper frame protection is a single logical segment, but if I look at it in Deja Vu, it appears as three separate segments, same in MemoQ, and in SDL Trader Studio, and in WordFast Pro. The problem is that it is not always possible to translate them as three separate segments because the word order in the target language isn't necessarily the same. For instance, the translation in French would be protection du châssis supérieur, which means the word order would be exactly opposite. In this video, I will show you how each of the tools I mentioned deal with such a situation. So let's start with Deja Vu. Here I can see that upper frame and protection are three separate segments. And I can also see that for some reason there is a code inside the segment frame. And since I think it is not needed, I will delete it. Okay, and now I will join upper and frame. So I will use Ctrl J and I will join the next one with Ctrl J again. And the codes two and three are in fact paragraph marks. And what I will do, I will uh, move them to the end of the segment. So Ctrl X and here Ctrl V. And same for the second code. So Ctrl X and Ctrl V. <clears throat> okay, so now I can start translating. The first segment is easy. Composants principaux. And I can move to the next one. And here I will translate it also. And I need to add the codes at the end. So I will press F8 like this and F8 again. Okay. So now I have my two segments translated and I can export the translated file. And here is my translated PowerPoint. I will click on the text box and I can see that the text is not centered inside the box. And this is because I have two extra paragraph marks at the end. So I will delete them with backspace once and twice. Okay, and now my text box is perfectly aligned. So that was how to deal with the situation in Deja Vu. Now let's switch to MemoQ. Okay, now I'm in MemoQ and again upper frame and protection are three separate segments and what I can do in MemoQ, I can join all three of them in one go with Ctrl J like this. And uh, now I will enter in edit mode with F2 and I will delete these uh, tags like this. And I will start translating like this and the second one like this. And when I validate this one, I will get a warning and uh, the tags will reappear at the end. So I have to add them with F8 like this. And now it's OK. So I should be able to export my document. Now we can have a look at it in PowerPoint. So here it is in PowerPoint. And if I click on the text box, I can see it's uh, slightly outside. And again, this is because I have two paragraph marks at the end. So I will delete them with backspace. And I have a perfectly aligned text box. And now let's uh, switch to SDL Trader Studio 2011. In Studio 2011, I also have three separate segments, upper frame and protection, but it is not possible for me to join them uh, because of the paragraph mark. However, what I can do, I can use the new edit source feature as a workaround. So first I have to go to project setting 
and allow source editing like this and now I can press Alt F2 to enter into edit mode and I will add the the other two segments and now I will move to the next one and again Alt 2 and I can delete this one however even though I can delete uh, the segment like this and same with this one it looks okay like this but what will happen if I leave them empty the when I export the file I will still have the old segments of frame for this for the third one and protection for the fourth one so what I will do instead I will just add a dot so that the segment is not empty and same with this one so a dot like this now I can translate them main components composer principal and the next one was protection supérieure du châssis and I will leave the second the third and fourth segment as they are now let's save the target file and it looks like this so again I can click on the text box and I can see it's the text is not uh, perfectly inside and uh, this is because I have th uh, two extra lines with the dots that I had added so I will just delete them and I have my perfectly aligned text in the text box and now let's see how to do this with WordFast Pro 3.1 now I'm in WordFast Pro and again upper frame and protection are three separate segments I cannot join them like in studio it's not possible to join segments past a paragraph mark but again since there is a new edit source function in WordFast Pro I will use it so for the first one I will select edit source and I will add the following segments so now I have upper frame protection in one segment I will do the same here so I will switch to edit source and here I can delete frame but if I try to exit WordFast Pro will tell me that uh, source cannot be empty and I can press uh, space but that's not enough so uh, white spaces are not accepted so I will do like in studio I will use a dot to keep it happy like this and again with protection I can switch to edit edit source mode and I will delete it and put a dot and OK so now we can uh, translate this file like this and like this and the last two segments I can leave them empty so now I can save the translated file now it looks like this and again if I click on the text box I can see that the text is not perfectly inside and this is because I have two extra dots so I will delete them and my text is perfectly aligned inside the text box so that was how to deal with uh, paragraph marks that uh, separate logical segments in Deja Vu and MemoQ in which documents are based on a database it's uh, possible to join the segments while in Studio 2011 and WordPress Pro 3.1 you have to use the edit source function as a workaround because it is not possible to join these segments thank you for watching do hit the like button if you found this video useful subscribe to my channel for more similar content and see you in the next video